three years old at the time, and he agreed to pay her an annuity. I forgot how much it was, about $400 a month for the rest of her life. And he did the calculations, and he figured out, well, she's 90, she'll probably live 10 more years, and that's what it'll cost me, and I'll get the house. Well, she wound up living 30 more years, and then the guy died. She was <laughs> <almost> <laughs> <laughs> and so his widow had to keep making the payment. She finally died at 121, this is 1997, and I wrote this on the 10th anniversary of her death. And so uh, that, that, that's what it was. So it's like the, uh, the worst deal in history for the attorney, but it was pretty good one for her. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Uh, uh, the, the, the first few things I wrote were about, about the elderly. There was a guy named George Abbott who was a Broadway producer. Uh, he did Damn Yankees, among other. And he was still working on the thing. He was doing a revision of it in uh, the late 1990s when he was 106 years old. He was still coming down to the office every day and directing traffic and doing what he does. And I thought that was kind of amazing that somebody that old could be doing that. He finally died at 107. Uh, but I thought that was kind of interesting. But then I ran out of uh, elderly people, and so I worked on sports and a few other things. So, uh, but as far as uh, setting up the plot, I may actually walk you through a profile, but uh, I guess if we do view profile, you can find, when, when you're doing a blog, you want people to, to find out who you are and what you want to do. So you put down all the stuff. It's kind of like if you were doing Facebook, and you want all your friends to know, you know, what are your interests and all that kind of stuff. And so, you know, gender, male, and, you know, location, Libertyville. In fact, if you clicked on Libertyville, you would find everybody else who does a blog who happens to be in Libertyville. And there's about 85 of them, I believe. You know, there's 82. Mike Kerrigan, you might know, uh, and uh, Katie Kerrigan, who's with the chamber. Uh, and maybe she's not anymore, but she has a shoe store over by my office. And she writes a blog there about ladies' shoes for large sizes. And uh, she uses that very effectively in her business. And this is part of the purpose of why I'm doing this talk here, because, hey, you're all in the chamber, you're all in business here, and you want to know, hey, how can I do this to help out my business? And so... Who's here today? Kevin Schwarm? Where's Kevin? Right here. Oh, okay. So you do this too. Well, we can go on this. <laughs> you are not wear glasses in there, but... Uh, oh, yeah, I have. Oh, okay. Thank you. And then we have me right below there. I'm, uh, by the way, that picture, that's uh, Ponce de Leon. Uh, he was the guy that discovered Florida for, for the Spanish guys. And uh, that's at the Fountain of Youth in St. Augustine, Florida. And I thought that was kind of a cute picture there. And, so, uh, so I put that down. Uh, on my Facebook thing for Ken Suskin Report, there's a picture of me standing between two Las Vegas showgirls. Uh, we took that picture on the street, and they made me pay them five bucks each for the picture. <laughs> 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 I not I had to pay for that. <laughs> but, uh, uh, so that, that's the one that's on my Facebook side there. But anyway, if we go back, uh, they have a tutorial. So if you're going to set up your blog, well, you have to show, well, first of all, you do the profile, and I probably put too much information in here anyway about my interests and favorite movies and stuff, but favorite movies of Blues Brothers, because uh, it was filmed in Chicago and all that kind of stuff, and, uh, and they have some great lines in there too. Uh, Rocky and Bullwinkle, uh, you know, if you, if you click on Rocky and Bullwinkle, you find out all the other bloggers who like Rocky and Bullwinkle. I mean, it's amazing the kind of stuff you can find out about everybody else who applies. Uh, or who's a big fan of Bob Seeger, for example, and, uh, and also vlogs, you can do that. Come on in, folks. And so, uh, we'll go to that, but if you, if you were to go, and also he has how many people have viewed your profile? Well, 919 people have viewed my profile since 19, or 2007. Uh, probably 300 of them was me, but you know, <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 my blogs, I happen to have two of them there, but uh, one of them I don't really do anymore, and then we have, we have the major one. But then what you do is you go through there and you go on health. I don't know if we can go back on that, but uh, 
uh, it will show you how to set it up as far as uh, you need a typeface, you need a logo across the top, and it, it, uh, yeah, okay. So, well, I guess the first thing you really need is you need a name for the thing, and you need some kind of catchy name. Now, there are a lot of people who, who are on this thing, they might have their daily diary that probably most people don't care about other than maybe their family, but if you were doing this for business, you would need some kind of catchy name that people will uh, perhaps remember, maybe put it on your business card or in your marketing materials, and you would have a name and probably a tagline also. So, for example, in my, in, in my ads in the phone book, I have, uh, I think it's quality legal advice at an affordable price. I put this in there 30 years ago, and you know, people think they're going to get a great deal. Of course, they find out later. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but that's a tagline. It's something that makes people remember. Right, so we have blog title GLMV Chamber, and then the address, I guess you could put GLMV Chamber at blogger.com or blogspot.com, and then if somebody punches in that URL, they will find it there. And then uh, when you do this, you got to do the word verification. That's so they don't have uh, spammers. Uh, going through and doing this uh, automatically by computer. And then you, I think that's L-E-O, -E I guess you can always ask for a different uh, uh, code here. Um, yeah, I already took, I already signed up for one. It's not a bit of These characters are not a lot. You got to understand, I'm kind of a low-tech guy, and maybe that's good in this regard because then you, you can see you, you don't have to be real sophisticated to actually do this. You can be just a, a regular person. That, uh, obviously, you have to know where the on-off switch is on the computer, but uh, but you, you don't really have to, to have a lot of technical knowledge to be able to do this. It walks you right through this. Let me see if that will produce that. Okay, all right, so starter template. All right, so you, can, you, you want to have like a background there, watermark, all this kind of stuff, and then you just choose one there, and then you continue. And you, we just created a blog, so now you can customize how the blog looks. All right, so you, know, you, you might want to have them in different colors or whatever. They have all kinds of templates on there where they can set this thing up for you. And you just use one of theirs. I suppose you could design one of your own, but once again, I'm a low tech guy. I, I would rather just use theirs. And they give you enough possible choices that it's not going to make too much difference. So, you know, your, yours will certainly be original. So they have the setup options. And Oh, is this a new one for you, Carol? I had one. Oh, okay. Well, right now there's no post, but... Uh, uh, We're setting up a new one. Yeah, and you, know, you, you can also be a follower of blogs. They have these blog rings where, you know, there's a lot of different blogs and they get on the ring and then you get well known to other people who do the same thing. And, you know, you can just punch in, okay, you want to see what the next blog is, it might be the GLMV chamber, and then the next one might be, you know, somebody else, and they have a, a whole system for doing that. So, so you set up the template, you set up the typeface, you set up the design, the background colors, and, you know, it's just kind of amazing how you can do all of that. Uh, do my computer profile. Blogger. Yeah, sure. I'm part of Facebook era, so I'm just wondering how do people find you? Do you have to basically tell them to go to the site and then they have to set up the blog? Or do you know they have to set up a, a profile? Or? Yeah, you promote yourself, really. You know, whether you do it on Facebook or LinkedIn. Uh, in my particular case, I'm on both Facebook and LinkedIn. And so if, you know, if somebody's my friend on there, 
know, they can see in my profile line there that, okay, I have a blog, and here's what the blog address, and you, you do. Uh, there's a link to this. Yeah, there's a link to that, and they say, oh, okay. 